I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a question based on revenue and profit. It is an application of quadratic relations. I'd like you to pause the video, copy the question, answer, and then look into my suggestions. The question here is, Rachel and Ken are knitting scarves to sell at the craft show. The wool for each scarf costs $6. They were planning to sell these scarves for $10 each, the same as last year, when they sold 40 scarves. However, they know that if they raise the price, they will be able to make more profit even if they end up selling fewer scarves. They had been told that for every 50 cents increase in the price, they can expect to sell 4 fewer scarves. What selling price will maximize their profit? and what will the profit be okay so let's try to understand and solve we are working on profit right so we need to find the profit and also the price both the things we want to find so what is profit profit is basically equal to revenue take away cost perfect and what is revenue? Revenue is cost, I should say selling price of each item times number of items. That is what revenue is. And cost is, we are given, cost is $6 on the number of items, right? let me write cost here first so that is the basic relation which we need to work with now let's write down our equation for profit so let us say profit is p right so let me use p as profit revenue number of items sold and the cost of each earlier the cost was ten dollars and they want to increase by 50 cents each so let us say n multiples of 50 cents so the cost becomes um, I mean ten dollars plus 50 cents means 0 0.50 n right so that becomes the new cost at this new cost they are going to sell lesser number of scarves earlier they sold 40 right so 40 take away four each right so four each increase in 50 cents so that becomes number of scarves sold. Cost is $6 on each item sold, which is 40 minus 4N. You get the idea. So that is how you get your profit. Now we can actually expand and simplify to get our answer, right? So 10 times 40 is 400 minus 40N half of this is 20 right 20 n and half of this is minus 2 n square right so that becomes the uh, revenue and the cost is going to be 240 6 times 40 minus and minus becomes plus 6 times 4 is 24 n correct so that is the relation which we get here we can now combine the terms. So the let's write in order, right? So we have minus 2n squared, n terms. Minus 40 plus 20 is minus 20. Minus 20 plus 24n gives us 4n. Okay, the numbers. 400 minus 240, that means 160, right? So we get plus 160. So that becomes the equation for profit. Now we need to maximize this, right? So to maximize, what will you do? We'll complete squares now. To maximize, correct? So let's do that process. So we will factor out minus 2 first. So we are left with n square. This becomes minus 4 divided by 2, 2n, two right? Plus 160. Now that gives you minus 2 n square minus 2n half of 2 is 1 so we'll add 1 subtract 1 square 
right? That is the process of completing the squares. So we get minus 2. Here we get n minus 1 whole square. We already have minus 1 here, plus 160. And now we can open this bracket. So we get minus 2 times n minus 1 whole square. That becomes plus 2, plus 160. Correct? So we get our equation in vertex form. So let me rewrite the equation. So we get profit as equal to minus 2 n minus 1 whole square plus 162. Now to maximize profit, n should be equal to 1. So n equals to 1 for maximum profit. Correct? So, so the cost or selling price will be how much? So the selling price will be 10 plus 0 0.5 times n, which is in dollars, $10 and 50 cents, correct? And the total profit is going to be $162. So profit is going to be in dollars, $162, correct? So that is how we are going to solve this particular question. So they will raise price by 50 cents and they'll get a revenue which will result into a profit of $162. Perfect. So I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to these videos, that'll be great. Thank you and all the best.